and welcome to our virtual class. My name is Tatiana Scutaro and I am a teacher at Miguel de Cervantes Lyceum. Our lesson today is Lesson 3 in the street. You can find in your books on pages 82 and 83. What we are going to do today? To learn how to say your address, learn the new vocabulary, include preposition of place in context, and learn how to work with a map. Ready? Let's see. What are these? Oh, I see. There are some addresses, right? But do you know how to say them in English? Oh, let's see. Free Amenaska Street, apartment 26, Kishinev. Free Kogonichano Street, apartment 132, Floresht. 36, Avramyanko Street, apartment 31, Beltsi. Oh, do you see any differences from our language? Yeah, I think that you found it. The address format in English goes like this. The first one, we have to write the street number, like free. Then we have to write street name, Amenaska, Kogornichano, Avramianku. Then we have apartment, number of your apartment. And the last, is it a suburb, a city, a state? or even a country. Oh, now, can you tell me where do you live? An example here. I live at 22 Orchard Street, apartment 19. And you? I live at 25 Green Street, apartment 3. Now it's your turn to tell me what is your address? Where do you live? Pause. Oh, you're back. Next time when I'll see you, you'll tell me what is your address. Now we have to go on with our new vocabulary. And don't forget, we have to pronounce together Bridge, bridge, chemist shop, chemist shop, neighborhood, neighborhood, smell, smell, advice, advice. Cross, cross, fill, fill, walking tour, walking tour, go right, left, go right, left, turn right, left, turn right, left. Round the corner, around the corner. We have the all words together. Let's pronounce them once again. Bridge, chemist shop, neighborhood, smell, advice, cross, feel, walking tour. Go right, go left. Turn right, turn left. Around the corner. Oh, next 
we have grammar. Preposition of place. But what does it mean? Prepositions and of place. Yeah, it shows where is the thing. Is it next to or near or opposite, far from, the corner of, over, at for specific addresses. Also, we have to look at this map that can help you to do this exercise. Ready? Do that. Pause. Oh, welcome back. Let's see. Have you managed to do this exercise? Have you understood how to use prepositions of place? I'm sure that you have. Amanda lives, if you talk about 15 Green Street, of course, is preposition at. Her block of flats is opposite the school. Have you found on the map? Yeah. The department store is not far from the her house. There is a bridge over the river, you see? There is a supermarket where? At the corner of Bell and West Street. Amanda lives near the park. Where is the chemist shop? Yeah, it's next to the post office. Now, it's time for reading. I have to read a text. And again, take your pen, L pencil and underline the new words. Mary's walking tour. Amanda's cousin Mary came on a visit from Scotland. It is Saturday morning and she wants to get acquainted with the neighborhood. This is what Amanda advises Mary to do. When you go out, you'll find yourself in Green Street. Go right, then turn around the corner and walk down East Street. You'll see a new department store and an old park there. There are some beautiful fountains in the park. Turn right on Oak Street, which is famous for its oak trees, and walk to the bridge. When you are on the bridge, don't hurry. Look around and admire the beautiful view. There are so many willows on the river bank. I like to play there with my friend. Cross the bridge and you'll see the modern building of the bank. The post office and the chemist shop are opposite the bank. Turn right at the corner of Oak and West Streets. My mother and I like West Street when the smell of lilac fills the air. Go right and you'll see St. Anne's Church in Bell Street. It is the church where my parents and I go on Sundays. If you want to go to the zoo, take number seven bus on West Street and get off the zoo. I hope you will enjoy your walking tour. Oh, it's a long text, isn't it? But with a lot of new words, right? Let's see. So, yeah. The new word is neighborhood. Another one advises. Go right, turn around the corner, turn right again, bridge, cross, chemist shop, turn right, fields, go right, walking tour. Thank you. You have found the all new words. You know them much better, right? The last exercise and challenge for you is the exercise where we have to find or match the words to the definitions. And we will do together. 
right? I'll help you. Tell me, please, the area around a particular place. We said today, and we have in the text too. Yeah, it's neighborhood, right? A short trip on foot through a place to see it. Again, we have met this word together. There is walking tour. But a shop where medicines are sold. Do you know what is this myth? Oh, it's a chemist shop. To tell someone what you think he or he should do? Oh, I don't know. What is this? Advice. And to go from one side of a road to another? There is, let me think, cross. Oh, and we have done this exercise together. That's all for today. You were great and active. So what we have done today? We learned how to say your address. We learned the new vocabulary. We included prepositions of place in context. And we learned how to work with a map. Thank you for your activity. See you next time. Goodbye.